Hi, my name is Ken Schwartz of Precise Sharpening, and this is part two of the Haka Tomai video. If you look at the initial video that I did with this, the primary purpose of that video was to show a contrast between a natural and synthetic stone finish. So that's exactly what that did. Uh, it did show a contrast, however, uh, the jump from the coarser synthetic finish to the natural stone finish was too great. So you did see some uh, coarser scratches coming through in that finish if you look at that video carefully. Uh, those scratches are scratches that need to be taken care of with a coarser stone and in fact that's what I've done. Going back as far as a 400 grit stone and then working my way back up to a 2000 grit stone and then switching back to the Haka Tomai. So I'm going to be doing the finishing stages of redoing the Haka Tomai edge to give you a better appreciation of this stone's qualities. The initial video uh, some people have misinterpreted as producing scratches from the Haka Tomai itself. However, nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, that was from the initial coarse grinding. Uh, so, without further ado, let me finish up this knife and we'll take a look at it. I'll put a little more water on the stone and off we go. So again, we put the pressure on the edge to put it on there rather than grinding any of the Kuruichi finish off unnecessarily. And again, I'm making some effort to preserve the kanji on this stone as well. And you can see that the mud is more fully developed, so it's very smooth somewhat viscous uh, that gets adjusted as you use it by adding small amounts of water during the sharpening process. So again at this point the Hakka stone is not intended to be used as a coarse sharpening stone. It's meant to be used towards the final polishing of a knife edge and that's exactly what we're doing right now. So I hope this gives you a good idea of more well-developed mud. And you can see it's starting to dry a little bit. So we'll add a little bit more water. We will start working the other side of the knife a little. Now there are one or two spots on the knife that still have some of the coarse grind that I'll actually point out. But it's my judgment call that removing that area to develop this level of polish is an unnecessary waste of the knife. This is a working knife, not a museum piece, so this is a purposeful decision on my part. And I will point that out in a little bit.
Okay, let's take a look at this. And that gives you a much better idea of the finish. We'll give it a quick rinse as well. And so we can see here, this gives a more fully developed, more fully developed Hakatomai finish on the edge. Uh, you can see the contrast, the line very clearly, a uh, much smoother finish than as previous noted. But you'll see like there's a little area right here and right over there that did not get the Hakatomai finish. Uh, and did not think that it was a wise use of metal to get that particular part. This side seems to be more fully developed. And that's kind of an overview of what the Hakka to my stone actually will produce uh, without the coarser scratches that you saw in the previous video. Thank you again for your attention.